rewind the clock a little over a hundred years, and this Chandler and Price hand-fed letterpress was brand new. The letterpress printing process dates back another 500 years or so. But like lots of things today, what's old is new again. I've always admired um, the machines, uh, the fact that they're still being used. Holly Kincaid's history with letter presses is a little more current. I've always wanted to do letter press work. The ink plate spins as I'm operating the machine, so that ensures even ink co coverage. After 20 years of working as a graphic designer for others, she decided to start her own business. She purchased two vintage letter presses and launched Kincaid Creative, design studio and letter press. It just felt like I was kind of getting back to my roots of what I loved about design when I started. You put the paper in one at a time. The rollers are inking, re-inking the plate as I'm putting in the paper. So it's basically like stamping with high pressure. This will grab the paper, spin it through here, and it'll drop it on this side. So don't get too close, but. Um, so it still has the rollers, it rolls up and gets the ink up at the top. And the windmill takes the paper, prints it, drops it. Her products range from greeting cards to business cards, stationery to wedding invitations. Each item custom printed on Holly's presses. They, they're pressing the ink into the paper so you can feel the, the impression. And it's kind of the most luxurious way of printing. I love the idea that this machine has been around for over 100 years and it still, still works great. Weighing in at 800 pounds and 3,000 pounds respectively, the letter presses aren't the easiest thing in the world to move. But when the Kincaids moved from Bozeman to Bend three years ago, the presses made the journey unscathed. At one point I thought, why am I just sitting here admiring other people who are using these presses? You know, I, why not me? Why can't I get one of those and figure out how it works? Seems repetitious, but it's kind of like a, like a therapy almost. Printing on the hand-fed Chandler Price Press is literally a labor of love. I switch legs and try to get even exercise on both sides, but but I still got I still got to do my other exercise. The press doesn't require electricity, but it does require a strong leg. I've been in my shop when the power goes out. I can still keep working. Only one color can be printed at a time which means multicolored prints require additional ink mixing and additional leg workouts. A card like this one here has three cut colors in it, so I start with you know, the green, and then I add the gray, and then I add the black. Um, so putting that last color down is, is a lot of fun. When I'm done, I feel like it's not something that someone's gonna throw away. I feel like it's something someone's gonna hold on to. Now it's in printing mode. What's old is new, and what's new is old, or vintage, or just plain cool. To send something physical that somebody can receive, um, I think that's a, a big way to stand out in a really busy world. In Bend, Eric Lindstrom, Central Oregon Daily News.